Hi everybody, it's Brent and Kelly again. Um, it's been about a month since we've been back uh, from March break. Um, and so we've just been videotaping. Uh, no, we haven't been. I like looking at myself much better. Okay, hi everybody, it's Brent and Kelly. You know what it is? You're in front of me. You need to move over there. <laughs> Cause I'm staring, no! I mean, actually physically move. I don't even know if this is the best angle. There we go. Hi everybody, it's Brent and Kelly. Um, it's been about a month since we've been back from March break and we really haven't posted a lot of videos because we are uh, back at work now. Uh, so the following video that you're going to see is Brent's workout. So it's a workout that he's been doing for about 40 years now. That's a long time, can't be 40 years. No, I've been working out. Since That'd be like 14, since you were 12. 14. I'm this 15. workout? No, this workout is... Uh... Probably 35, but I've been working out for 40 years. Hi everybody, it's Brent and Kelly. Um, it's been about a month since we've been back since March break, and we really haven't posted a lot of videos because as you know, everybody is basically being isolated or quarantining in their homes because of COVID. So first of all, we hope that everybody is healthy and we hope that everybody is safe. Um, so the one thing that we're actually going to show or the video that we're going to show is uh, something that actually you can be using right now in your own homes just to stay healthy and, and keep working out. Obviously everybody is not going to their gyms right now. Um, we actually did this workout, um, Brent actually did this workout. Uh, it's actually his workout that he did when we were on March break and it's his workout that he does a lot of times when we're vacationing. Um, as you know, during March break and moving forward when we actually continue our journey probably in hopefully July, depends on what's happening in our world, um, we don't have room in our trailer, our new home, for weights and for you know bench press and stuff like that. We literally can take 400 pounds, that's it. And so this workout is great because it doesn't really require any um, equipment. You'll see a couple pieces of equipment in here because we go back, uh, when we're videotaping, we go back and forth actually from the trailer uh, from March break and then also him working out at home right here and we have a little bit more equipment. But you certainly don't need any video equipment for this. Um, so anyway, uh, we hope that you enjoy it. Uh, we hope again that you use it and that you everybody is staying safe. Uh, we probably will post maybe one more video before we leave uh, for our um, year-long trip. We don't really know when that's going to be, of course. But I will now turn it over to Brent. Three, two, one. What am I doing? You're, okay, go, no, sorry. Okay, so, all right, so, uh, ex so Brent, explain your workout. The theory behind the workout is that you, uh, you do an anaerobic workout, uh, but at the same time an aerobic workout. In other words, you're doing weight training, but you're getting cardio because you don't rest with the weights. So you cannot, uh, it'd be very difficult to, to work out without resting unless you do the different body parts. So for instance, you can work out your biceps or chest or, or any particular part of your body while the other part of your body, like your legs, is resting. So you can switch back and forth. So the theory behind this is you do uh, a push, which does your chest and triceps, they work together and then you do a core workout, then you do a back and bicep workout, and then you do legs. So there's four different types of workouts. So you're getting a rest for three of the other types. So those are the four. I'm going to describe them in the video. Um, and you will be able to download this sheet and you can just work along with it. And uh, it has boxes, a little more useful when you're do dealing with weights, you can put all the this was designed for the kids at school, but you can put all the, the uh, amount of weights in the boxes, but you can just put the number of sets that you do. Uh, if you're a beginner, start off nice and slow. Um, you want to start off uh, as easy as you can do it and then wait and see how you feel the next day. If you're sore, wait two days, wait three days if you have to. Uh, really important to start slow. Uh, uh, even younger students 
would uh, say they'd start sore and then I'd see them the next day they couldn't walk. So we don't want that. We want it to be real easy. And then if you are pain free the next day, then you can go ahead and, um, and you have to rest every muscle group, whatever muscle groups you want. You need to rest them at least two days. And as you get older, probably three. Um, um, but basically you want to do um, basically three sets of, or sorry, sets of uh, 15 to 20 if you are looking to um, uh, do endurance. So basically if, you, if, you, if you're trying to uh, get lean and uh, look like, uh, you know, somebody who's really fit, like a, like a triathlete, you would do 15 to 20 reps in each set. If you want to get big, uh, like a bodybuilder, then you would reduce that and you would want to do uh, about eight, six to eight in, um, in your sets. Uh, the reps, it's reps per set. Um, hopefully you're able to, to uh, download and print up the sheet that explains everything and allows you to track it. Uh, you know, do the best you can. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, with push-ups, try and keep your whole body flat to make it easier. You can increase the angle as shown here. You can even, if you have to, do it against a wall and just uh, move your feet out a little bit. For sit-ups, you um, want to just do straight on, but once you get better and you're doing three sets, you can twist. So here, you're twisting as you come up, and uh, then the, that'll be the second set, and then the third set, so as you, you start neutral and you come up and you twist. The third set, you're gonna start off to the side and you're gonna come up to neutral. So you're starting off to the side and then you're coming up to neutral. So that's just, once you get advanced, you can do the third three sets like that. If you're beginning or if you have any back issues, just do crunches like this. Just try and get your head, shoulder blades off. The key is to get your shoulder, shoulder blades off the ground. Lat pull downs, or pull ups, I guess we're calling them. You just want to um, pull straight up into the air. Um, and you can move your feet further out um, to make it harder. And wrapping the ropes around the wrist worked like a charm. Uh, inside, you'll notice here also, um, I just push my feet further away to make it harder. Um, oh yeah, I used to be able to do this. <laughs> okay, uh, although I, I started this form because of the knee replacements and knee issues i find it much easier to take to keep pop, proper form if you're actually holding on to something and leaning back so i suggest everyone try it it makes it much easier to uh to uh, isolate the legs here to make it harder put your legs higher in the air to make it easier just put your your legs on the, the table and it, it, it that should make it quite easy and you're trying to push from your head up okay again with all the core uh, if you're doing three sets, you can make it harder. So here you'll see I'm twisting as I come up. And then the other one, I start, oh, there's, there's a third where you start to the side and come up. And beginners, or uh, if you don't have a bench, this is a very good way of doing back extensions. So for all the rows, you basically want to be going straight in front of you and pulling in towards your body. And you're, you're not trying to move your back as much as pulling your arms in and making your shoulder blades uh, kind of face each other once, you, uh, once you're at full flexion. Uh, again, you can um, make it easier by uh, standing straighter up or as I do here, you can lean into it more and that makes it more difficult. So you use that to figure out your best level. To make this more difficult, you can just uh, hold a, a weight in your hand, uh, um, any, anything that you find around the house. Um, so dips um, are, uh, are the same thing. You move your feet away to make it harder, and this really isolates the tricep, I guess, as Kelly typed in there. Again, this core, leg raises, if you are doing three sets, uh, you can twist, as I show here. Um, so you start neutral and go up to the side and then you can start from the side for the third set and come up neutral. But uh, if you're beginning or if you're not doing three sets, just do it straight on. Don't do the twists. And uh, kettlebell swings. It's funny. I, I discovered through, uh, through this that it's actually 
a lot easier on the back if you have two objects like I'll probably do this with dumbbells when I get back to the gym uh, lunges oh, they don't look very good best I can do with this silly knee um, okay these you don't want to move uh, your upper arm I am quite a bit because I don't have a handle but if you have a handle uh, or a dumbbell try and keep that upper arm facing straight up and down and uh, do the best you can here if you don't have a BOSU ball uh, just just do the uh, just try and do the tree pose and uh, and that's a part of core that's balance so for bicep curls really important you go through your full range of motion go all the way down and for hamstrings um, I, I, I couldn't figure out how to do this without the ball so when we were at the camper I literally just left it out of the workout <laughs> A lot of you may be wondering why uh, why uh, I'm not ripped if I work out so much. I'm I'm living proof that you uh, you cannot outwork a bad diet. So um, it, it, it diet obviously I'm not getting into that into the video, but diet is a big part of uh, of uh, being able to see results. A lot of people uh, if they don't change their diet will get upset, but you will get much more healthy. Even if you don't, if even if you can't see it, if you do this, your your health will improve. Um, I guess uh, one silver lining to having a, a high percent body fat is uh, uh, I sh it'll it'll help prevent getting a relapse of the uh, uh, of the cavorca. So I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs>